What's going on, everybody? I'm Brent, and this is PJ, and this is the home video hustle. So hustle. We finally got our wish this week. Yes. We finally got a movie where a, a bad guy is a good bad guy. Yes. Yes. People died in this movie, <laughs> and it was because of the bad guy. Yes. Made it to the end. Held on tight. You should get five stars for that. But <laughs> the bad guy gets five stars yes. already. Thumbs up. High recommend. Huh? And this week, we watched a movie called Never Too Young to Die from 1986, mm -hmm. directed by Gil Bettman, starring John Stamos, Vanity, Gene Simmons, and George Lazenby. So right off the bat, already a higher caliber than what we watched before, yes. in my opinion, anyway. Yes. All right, and I was thinking before, uh, we didn't have a problem with the last couple podcasts about us immediately forgetting what the hell we watched after we watched it. But see, even though this wasn't going to be a problem with this episode, I took a precaution. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and go with it to carry on this new tradition. <laughs> and I'm going to read the synopsis of the movie. Okay, what so, does the official synopsis say? When a top secret agent, George Lazenby, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, mm. is murdered, his estranged gymnast son, Lance Stargrove, teams up with his dad. Oh, that's John Stamos, by the way. Full House okay. fame popping off. Yes. He teams up with his dad's seductive and deadly associate, Donja Deering Vanity, the last dragon, ah. <laughs> <laughs> to face his father's killer, the fiendish master. Damn, I can't talk. The fiendish mastermind, Velvet Von Ragnar. Ragnar. Mm -hmm. Is it Ragnar? That's Gene Ragnar. Simmons. Gene Simmons. There Gene you go. Simmons. From okay. Kiss. There you go. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, this sentence is the best. This hermaphroditic hill is hell-bent on a mm. scheme to poison the city's water supply, and it's up to, up to Stargrove to crush Velvet once and for all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That was a synopsis? That was pretty much it. That was well, the, the back of the VHS cover. Okay. There's a couple of things in there that have triggered <laughs> discussion. Yeah. Sure. I was a, well. Uh, so, so, right off the bat. We talked about the villain, Gene Simmons. Yes, great job, great job. Gave me everything I wanted. <laughs> Took three weeks, but we have finally got here. Good, bad guy acting. And a fucking hermaphroditic bad guy at yeah. that. I wonder. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Because at first, honestly, I just thought, I was like, oh, they're going to make a gay bad guy or something. Then it was like, oh, he's a hermaphrodite. And not only he's a hermaphrodite, he got tits and everything. Yeah, that was weird. Like, usually hermaphrodites just got both sexual organs, right? But he got boobs, too. I, I get. Oh, fuck you. Uh, no, I really, <laughs> I really, I really I, don't. I don't, know, I don't know about that. I really don't. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. They, but, they have just both. Well, yeah, they got G. Simmons wearing, like, super eyeliner and yeah. pancake makeup. I mean, with a big wild ass black curly wig on. You figure he's used to it because of his like stage performance. That's true, I mean, shit, yeah. He's used to it was wearing the, the paint and, and, and the yeah. wigs and all that. So I don't think it was too far off for a stretch for this one for him. It was right up his alley. That's probably why they picked him. For real. <laughs> Get the rock and roll guy with the makeup. Yeah. He can do that shit. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It was crazy because he's acting all goofy and everything. Like he was a. Uh, he had a weird ass way of killing people though. He had like a, a fucking what was it? I guess a blade nail on his middle finger. Yeah. He was just jamming into people's necks. Yeah. And that was killing everybody. Yo, I've got the synapses. Now here goes the home video hustle breakdown. Uh huh. Ha! Ah, the video opens up with the hermaphrodites <laughs> and his little posse or crew, whatever they are. Um. It's like, basically ranting and like having a little fun time if you imagine a uh he, that scene reminded me of something he's just him hyping he like he the hype man for his little posse out there yeah it might uh what's the the come out and play the oh the warriors, warriors yeah, yeah. One of the, that that scene reminded me of a scene in like the warriors that could be yeah, and around a little bonfire a big gang them. of misfits yeah, hitting in their yeah. cut somewhere getting riled up yeah and so a woman comes, well, his posse brings in a woman. Yeah, they got a woman chained up on a little post or something. Yeah, she has a uh, a medallion. Isn't yeah. that what it is? I don't remember. <laughs> Good you thing we have that synopsis. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't tell us shit. I look, like, right, like right off the bat before we could see, I was just like, I, I like this movie so much. Like, I ain't even write a lot of notes on it. It was 30 minutes in before I realized I wasn't even taking notes. I was yeah. just actually just watching the movie. Yeah. Not even thinking about it. And then hit me like, oh, we got to talk Guess about me. this later. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to call it a medallion. Yeah, she had the something. The chick had a medallion. And long story short. Oh, she had the, 
the Star Grove medallion, like the Star Grove, had like a little family crest. Yes, that now, was it. And it was a ear, was it was it. her earring. She had it as her earring, and he yes. saw that and yanked it off. So I guess he knew like mm-hmm. like who was behind sending her there. Yeah. Right. So uh, he asked, "Where'd you get it from?" And she didn't tell. So so he stabbed her ass with that knife. Was it was in her middle neck? finger. Yeah, yeah, right through the jugular. And the movie begins. So she dead as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that was before the damn titles mm-hmm. even started coming mm-hmm. up. It's a cold open or whatever. Yeah. So the movie begins, and then uh, we pan left and see... What is his name? <laughs> we cut to fucking uh, Community College or wherever the hell yeah, we Yeah, whatever he was in. Fucking John Stamos you talking about. Yeah. yeah. He's in there doing uh, fucking Jim Cotta. <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie before? <laughs> no, I need to see that one too. Oh, it's, it's coming up then. Because it isn't the... Yeah, it's like the his him doing gymnastics, ain't it? It's cut with his dad doing his little secret mission, yes. ain't it? Yeah, so we li- don't know the two are intertwined. Yeah, right? his dad's like a spy. It's played by George Lazenby, you know, who played James Bond mm-hmm. one time in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, mm-hmm. which I like, but a lot of other people didn't like at the time, I guess, because it wasn't Sean Connery. But go. even people to this day be like, oh, that's the whack one. Nah, fuck those people. I like <laughs> On Her Majesty's Secret Service. <laughs> that is the shit. And it's, cra- uh, it's crazy we watching this today, too, because fucking Roger Moore just passed just died away. died yesterday. Yeah. And this wasn't planned that way. Yeah. So rest in peace to one James Bond. Yes. And then it's about to be rest in peace to another one, because in this scene, they got George Lazenby and his people's, uh, what the fuck? They were trying to get to a mine. They were at a dam. They were trying to get somewhere. And uh, one of the guys betrayed him, smoked his, uh, started shooting at him. He shot him in the, he tapped him in the leg ah, twice. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So yeah, we, weren't they underground? Yeah, they, they were like in the, a dam. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. the ground, yes, yes. So, yeah, he got his he got tapped up in the leg, and they started running. Mm-hmm. His boy ended up getting shanked in the throat by Gene Simmons. Again. <laughs> Again. Good bad guy, I tell you. This guy actually put in work. Oh, but before that, remember, that's when they had the, uh, the fucking umbrella with the, the bulletproof umbrella. Yeah. They were getting, like, yeah. they, like, all the little Mad Max, you know, wannabes were coming down there trying to kill him. They had brought out an umbrella. And they, they started laughing at him. And then they started walking toward him, blasting. And they started shooting him, and the bullets were bouncing off. Yeah. yeah he got shot in the leg, right? Twice. Yeah, yeah, he got shot in the leg before that. Shot. Yeah. Yeah, after that is when they uh they got past the little dudes. Mm-hmm. And that's when his boy got shanked up. Mm-hmm. Then he ended up getting captured by Gene Simmons. And that's when you find out that all of this is them trying to get some uh, computer floppy disk yes. to uh, poison the dam. Because that's the whole point of the movie is Gene Simmons wants to poison the water supply so they had to pay him off or some shit like that. Yeah, honestly, the the, the plot wasn't really touched upon that much. Yeah, a lot. Like, for real, like, I, I honestly... Besides the beginning and the end. I forgot they was chasing for the, the disc. I knew they were... The was, thing was, I knew the whole movie they were chasing for the floppy disc, but I couldn't remember why. I was like, I knew they wanted uh, yeah, disc. Yeah, yeah, contamination. And then I'm like, I know they want to contaminate the water, but I'm like, why, though? I forget. <laughs> What the hell was the point of Why contaminating the water? It? I don't remember. I think they said something about some... Because there was a scene where they were like, oh, well, he would he getting like a billion dollars or something like that. Oh. So I guess he was trying to get paid. Yeah, right. But honestly, yeah, I, I have no sol- solid answer on that. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing about this movie that I really did. Anyway, continuing. Um. Oh, funny thing. When... Not funny, but when the dad wound up dying... Um, <laughs> oh, 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 man. What? Not just... um. You was about to talk about when he got shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The motherfucker got hit with a shotgun and did like a fucking double back yeah. flip. Like, it was a lot of dummies getting thrown around in this movie, and I appreciate it yes, so yes. much. Oh, how far we have come. Like, there was a scene like where they were when they were down in the thing shooting. The fucking guy got thrown off a railing, and there's a dummy just fell real stiff and landed like on his shoulder. Yeah, ricocheted like, with both his legs like spun around like he was about to start break dancing and shit you know like when you do when you do the little break dances and then they like stop with their legs up and they do the little pose oh. like that's what that shit is. <laughs> got him oh that was the best yeah. I yeah, love I love when they just throw dummies around in these old movies <sighs> yeah so a dummy got flipped when he got shot <laughs> um like somebody just was right there with the W. They shot it. They just took it and just twirled that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oh man, that was that was the best. That man, like one of my favorite moments of this whole movie. And up until that point, I don't think we really knew much about um, the son. Yeah, it was just basically him in gymnastics, but then after, when he got shot, that's when he fell off and I guess like lost his gymnastic powers or whatever, because he <laughs> fucked up. 
He, he was on like the parallel powder. bars. The gym yeah. powder was low. Yeah, he was on the parallel bars, and as soon as his dad got shot, he fell off. Him. He got he ate shit on the mat. Yeah, and then from there, that's when his story picks up. Yeah, because it's the they're in. The, he's in the dorm room with his little uh, his friend, the little Asian friend that like mm-hmm. make gadgets and everything. He's making. He's showing him like he got a. This is gonna be a big part of this movie. I didn't know at the time, yeah, but he right. made a gun, and it's basically like a, a flame grenade launcher. Cause it's not a flamethrower, but it shoots less. bombs that's on fire. So I guess it's a flame round launcher. If you ever play Resident Evil games, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, he's like, yeah, I got this gun, and he's sitting there like, oh, but don't drop it or don't do nothing, cause it might explode. Yeah. You know, hint to the hint hint for the end of the movie. And oh, it, yeah, you didn't I think, see you didn't what think about they that, did there. You? Okay. Yeah. Ah. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta explain ah. it in the big, be- in the beginning, so that at the I end it's like, see. ah, it paid That's off. How it yes. I thought it just. I don't know what. Check I, off's ah. flamethrower. <laughs> well. But yeah, he gave that. And he gave him the chewing gum that had the tracker inside. Yes. yes that he's gonna he use later in the movie. See yeah, all this I shit that, that came one. back. Yeah. See, it's a good movie. Yeah. It's well written. This is Oscar it worthy, is good, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, VHS the Oscar. Did they have the Oscars back then? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had it's that bullshit yeah. back then. Yeah. Um, but this shit wouldn't get no damn Oscar. <laughs> nah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. If the Titanic didn't get Leonardo DiCaprio an Oscar, it didn't. No, he just won his first Oscar. Like, oh. no, was that Oscar or was that? I think it was. Oscar. I think he just won his first Oscar. Maybe the movie. I, I thought that movie. Maybe the movie won. Yeah, yeah. But oh, him as a okay. yeah, he did his acting. I don't know. That's a good. Have you, have you ever watched Titanic? Yeah, that's the man. <laughs> We're never watching that movie. Oh, that's I, 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 too I wasn't much. planning on it. That is way too much. I've had to sit through it before, and then I got. <laughs> I can't even say. It. People are gonna be mad at me. My girlfriend had me watching that with her years ago. <laughs> oh shit. And in that whole movie, I'm just sitting there bored out of my mind, just no head in your hands, looking at the clock. Then I realize that movie's like three hours long. Yes. So then I just kind of sink into the couch and think about other shit. <laughs> but then the Titanic hits the iceberg. Because that's the thing about Titanic. It's like, I know how it's going to end. Yes. They're going to get fucked. By an iceberg, like <laughs> <laughs> an inanimate object. <laughs> but then there's a scene where the the, the thing hits and it's crashing, and then like the things turn upside down, and it just shows people like falling off. And she get mad, and I just sit up and I go, <laughs> <laughs> and she's, what? That's oh, not shit. funny. Like, yeah, it is. It was a part, I think it was a part two where like <laughs> there was like a kid or, or a woman or someone trying to get on the boat, and dude was like, no, nope, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, they were supposed to let them on first. The, the, the darkest comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But fuck, who was we talking about? Uh, <laughs> we <was> talking about <laughs> fucking Titanic threw us off. Yeah. But no, um, to, yeah, yeah, his dad that? gets murdered. Oh, that they were. The that's thing. what I was saying. They were in the room, yeah, and uh, the the no teacher way. or principal, whatever the fuck he was, comes in there and he's like, "Hey, you know, it's parent weekend." Yes. And he asks the Asian guy, he's like, "Your parents coming?" He's like, "Oh yeah, for sure." And he looks at. John Stamos, and he's like, oh, I bet your dad's not coming. And John Stamos was like, nah, yeah, actually, he is coming. He's like, oh, really? Can't wait to see him. Yes. And I, I think, well, I can't remember if that was before or after he got fucking lit up, but. <laughs> no, it was right before. Oh, it was before, right, yeah, yeah, because. Yeah, that, he the, goes to his little. Yeah, because yeah, the whole gymnastic. scene where he's doing his little mission, George Lasby's, like, checking his watch because he's like, oh, I got to be at my son's thing. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, he gets fucking murdered. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, and I think it wasn't, it wasn't during the competition that he actually fell off the beams mm-hmm. when he mm-hmm. got shot. Okay, so, yeah, mm-hmm. okay. So, after that, they cut to the funeral. Yeah. And for some reason, he's standing, like, real far away from everybody. I for a minute, I thought it was going to yeah, be a joke where that, I thought it was going to be like they were having a funeral over there and like everybody's, you know, you know, being sad looking and they cut to him being far away. And then like the camera like slowly pans over and you realize that he's just at his dad's funeral, but nobody's there but him. I thought that was uh, going to be some kind of joke. Be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, nobody knew about yeah. it. Because since he was a spy, I guess nobody. Yeah, would. Right. I thought, oh, maybe nobody came except his son. But that was sucks. he was just standing aside, I guess. And then uh, I guess he said it was his pop's lawyer or something. Come to find out, it's like a FBI, not FBI, but like Secret Service dude. Yeah. We find out later, but CIA agent, something. Yeah, he comes. He's like, hey, you inherited a fucking farm. Mm-hmm. He's like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with a farm? So he goes to the farm, mm-hmm. and that's what fucking Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> 
whoever he was. He was uh, he would you know try to oh well, we skipped that part too at the funeral. Um, they had Vanity was standing there crying and he's like, who was that? And he's like, oh, that's somebody that worked with your pops. And he's like, oh okay. Mm-hmm. So when they go to the farm, she's there playing with some horses and fighting Conan the Barbarian. Mm-hmm. And then she puts his face in a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. So then I forget how exactly did that scene in. I don't even remember. Uh, basically that's when the the, the whole you were working with my father. Like she thought, or were you intimate with him? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, he no. thought she was fucking his dad. That's yeah, right. yeah. It's come to find out, it was just strictly work. Yeah, he said she says my he helped her family out and she owed him a debt or something like that. Yeah, and then from there, it's pretty much him and her teamed up the whole movie. Well, not at first, but like, she's yeah. at first she was like because they went back to. Uh, was it her house or the dad's house? Dad's house. It was the dad's house. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, they went back to dad's house and, and she was telling him, you know, oh, you need to stay away from me and dangerous and all that. Yeah. And I think then they come and shoot the house up at that point yeah. too a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they fight some people off and she goes, she, she comes down dressed up. She's like, oh, I'm about to go out. And he follows her and they go to a, like a rock and roll club or something. And Gene Simmons is in there. And uh, like the second big laugh <laughs> I had in this movie, fucking Gene Simmons is like in the... I don't even know what you like. Some kind of what do you like a onesie looking outfit leotard? or something? I don't know what is you that call what a that. Is Man, oh, there you go. Is that That's a what it is. A leotard. Okay. Okay, a leotard. And he just and he's singing. It, oh, it was the dumbest shit yeah. in the world, man. I couldn't stop laughing they for like a the minute. Perfect guy, <laughs> like the perfect guy to the T. He was man. He really did that and play and didn't give a fuck. Like yeah, yeah. He was acting weird as hell and didn't even care. Never in a million years. So yeah. They're in the club. That's where the first device that his his um yeah he um he's what do you call him he's talking roommate? About his roommate yeah yeah his college yeah, his little device. college yeah, roommate yeah. yeah it had to because I, I was thinking about this too I was like is it high school or college but it had to be college because he got a roommate now yeah so yeah, I guess yeah. it was college so yeah. I guess it makes it slightly less weird that he gonna fuck vanity later I guess <laughs> I thought she was gonna fuck Still a high school like student a bitch. oh yeah we'll get to that yeah but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, him and Vanity are sitting there and they're watching Gene Simmons and and he she ends up leaving, but he tries to go undercover. I guess mm-hmm. he he's like, all right, I me mean, I need to uh, get your autograph. So he's in the room with Gene yes. Simmons and it's this weird, awkward ass, weird sexual so, tension yeah. scene going on where Gene Simmons is flirting on, flirting with John Stamos, <sighs> and um, while Gene Simmons goes around, I guess to go get a picture, he the chewing gum that his friend gave me at um been chewing on it he took it out and he stuck it inside like a moose like head. a moose head or something on the wall mm-hmm. yeah no was it in the nose it was inside in the, the nose, nose of the yeah, thing on the side yeah of the nose uh-huh so he barely escapes getting fucked by gene simmons mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> he goes outside and i guess he's trying to he listen in but gene simmons immediately knows that something's wrong so he got like his little bug detector finds it and flushes it down the toilet so mm-hmm. that all ended up being a waste of fucking time right Oh, after that, he had um. They showed the scene where Conan put a bomb on his little moped or whatever it was, a scooter, oh, yeah. whatever. And he went to go get on it, and some ad, some drunk asshole biker was out there trying to fuck with him and tried to steal his bike, and he mm. blew the fuck up. <laughs> and I was waiting on it, so I'm like, I told PJ because PJ like, oh, you gonna jack his bike? No, he gonna blow the fuck up. Yeah. And then he blew. <laughs> he blew that shit the fuck up. Oh, that was funny. But yeah, after that, he goes back home to the Asian dude, and he finds out that um, oh no, that's right, he had that box, right? He had a, his dad had sent him a box of stuff, care package. a care package. He said, yeah. yeah. And you come to find out that the disc they were looking for was inside that box this mm-hmm. whole time. Mm-hmm. So um, he gets the Asian cat's motorcycle, and he goes out and tries to find uh Vanity because outside the the club he had put the another tracker on her car. Yes. So yeah. he knew where she was. So he went to go catch her, and so there ended up being this little car chase scene, I guess. Yeah. With her trying to outrun him, but then some little Mad Max rejects pop out of nowhere. Yeah. And they gotta fight them. And this part bugged me out because there's a scene where she goes uh, under a semi truck, like she she stays level with a semi truck under it, yes, and that's yes, some shit yes. from Fast and Furious. So I'm like, all right, Fast and Furious, did they steal from this movie? They had to. And then oh, and then I I don't know if I mentioned it, but this movie for some reason, maybe y'all will agree with me, maybe y'all won't, but I saw a lot of Golden Eye in this movie. Yes, <laughs> yes. the James Bond movie, because it starts out that, like when they showed the dam, like if you played that Nintendo 64 game. That damn would should instantly just right have there. you thinking of that mm-hmm. first level of that game because that's exactly mm-hmm. what it looked like. Then you got George Lazenby, a guy that played James Bond in the movie, and then the car chase scene. Granted, it was two cars in Goldeneye, but there was a scene I don't know if you remember where uh, he was chasing uh, Zinya on the top in the car. They were kind of having a race. 
go on the on the mountainside and like right after right after the beginning credits of Goldeneye, there they it cuts them like having a little race scene. I do remember that. Yeah, and that's kind of reminded oh, me of this yeah, part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was a whole bunch of little yeah. scenes that was like Golden Eye esque. And right, then that scene it. happened. And so it was like, oh man, now the Fast and Furious than Jack from this movie. Yeah, amazing. But, never get the credit. You would have <laughs> never knew. Well, who's going to be like, oh yeah, we watched Never Too Young to Die. We got this, and we great, got this idea. great idea. Yeah. <laughs> But well, yeah. so yeah, she hiding under the joint. But they start uh, closing in on John Stamos, so she pulled out this this gun and starts shooting him. But it was weird because she was so awkwardly holding that gun. I was like, she gonna end up shooting him because she's like, mm-hmm. look like she's scared because mm-hmm. she's holding it and she kind of wobbly and shaking. I'm like, yo, she ain't gonna hit nothing with that. Bad acting or something. Like maybe she was trying to. Because there was a scene at the end of the movie where he was shooting the gun and she she kind of kept flinching too. So I yeah. think she just might have been scared of them damn guns. Indeed. But in the, but even though she was barely aiming, she still killed him. Yeah, killed both the guys. So they ended up right ended up riding together. Mm-hmm. Fuck the bike again. Just left the bike. Yeah, I know. Hop what? in. Well, he told the Asian cat, he says, you probably ain't going to get this bike back. Yeah, so, he did. I mean, he did for like warning. It. All right, so he gets in the car with her, and they drive off. But then, like, not much further up the road, there's a couple more Mad Max dudes, and they lay out a stri- uh, spike strip. Ah. And they blow out all the tires in the car. Mm-hmm. So they really don't get nowhere and end up both getting captured. So I think that's when he wakes up back at his dad's house. And it's kind of weird because it's like, did anything happen? It looks almost like he was dreaming because he kind of yeah. wakes up and everything's normal. But then he goes to the kitchen to go wash his hands or put water on his face or something. And this guy just comes and just slams his fucking head into the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts like Bashing like shit. rubbing his head across a bunch of broken plates. Yeah. And so these two dudes are just torturing him, trying to figure out where the disc, disc is. Mm-hmm. And they're just whooping his ass. They're, you know, they're literally whipping him at one point. But yeah, then he right? but then he sees uh the little crest, his family crest, he sees that and he's like, uh, okay, yeah. And he starts talking mad shit to him mm-hmm. and gets a like does the little like karate like kick flip upward to stand back up yeah. and he starts whooping their ass out there. And then um the dudes basically punk out after he whoops him so much, they ended up running out of the house. Then he's like by a window that just has a gun thing conveniently right there. So he gets a shotgun and just starts yeah. blasting at him. Yeah, so now all of a sudden he's just like the tough guy. I don't know. They didn't die. But they kept going. They kept going. At least did one. One, one of them. Yeah. One, one of them. them I think one of them did yeah. fall off the bike. But the other guy got killed when he went back to Gene Simmons. Mm-hmm. But yeah, after he scared the dudes off, the uh, Asian cat comes back, and that's what that's actually when he finds out that he has the disc on him. Cause he's like, oh yeah, I got yeah. the. I made a secret compartment in the motorcycle to hold it for you. Yeah. And so yeah, they uh they link up, then they go to go shoot vanity. They go uh to a warehouse where they got her at. And they got her inside this fucking uh, it's a big oven or something because they got her strapped up in there. And they're like, "Where's the disc?" And then she's like, "I don't know." So they turning up the heat to like well over past yes. like four hundred degrees yes. or so. So they go in there. It's a big ass shootout. Dudes get chopped up. They end mm-hmm. up getting her out. And that's when they cut back. And you see fucking Robert England, Freddy Krueger. Yes, is a part of Gene, Gene Simmons, Simmons team. Mm-hmm. He's like, I guess their tech guy. Yeah. And the guy that got beat up by uh, John Stamos comes back and he's like, he's like, yo, he hit us, sir. You know, he beat us up. So Gene Simmons just shanks him in his neck. Yep. See, this bad guy's already got like yeah, I mean, four the, dead guys. Yeah, he's just killing everybody. Good shit. It's weird to go from a bad guy seeing him kill all these people to the last two episodes where a bad guy just got killed himself. Like, yeah. That was his big thing. <laughs> so after all that, um, they link up with the security secret, uh, secret agent dudes, the guy that was playing the lawyer at the funeral. And then there's another guy who I caught it immediately. It's just fucking Gene Simmons with a yeah. damn fake beard and a wig on. But yeah, he's there sitting there telling them all the information. Like, oh, we got the disc is here. So the, um, Gene Simmons sets up a trap to try and yeah. catch Gene Simmons, if that makes any sense. So yeah, they out there, uh, they out there chilling, you know, just out there all in the open trying to get mm-hmm. attention. And then and PJ's then. favorite scene in the movie happens. And I'm going to let him go ahead and tell y'all about oh, that. Oh, so... <laughs> this young college boy, you know, I understand he's trying to be gentlemanly, you know, the lady, uh, ah, the lady, you know, she's sitting out on a nice lawn chair, enjoying her day, giving him the eye contact. Oh my God, the eye him contact. The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, giving him the body language. Like bigger, bigger hints could not have been thrown. All signs are saying, "Yes, bleep me." But this, the only, guy, the only, the only bigger hint that she could have did was to legit pull her panties off, spread her legs open wide as hell, and just be like, and do here. like the, <laughs> the, 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 right? the, the degeneration X chop <laughs> pointing toward it, like, oh, here. So they, he goes in. You know, it's, it's broken into segments. The first segment. 
you know, he gets <laughs> up, goes inside. What does he get the first time? Yeah, it's weird. He, like, every time she was doing more flirtatious stuff, he just kept walking away and coming yeah. back with different food items. Like, oh, first it was the sexy eyes. And then he just walked He walked away and walked down the other side. Yeah. He hit the left. He was walking towards her and then just hit the left and walked down the side. Mm-hmm. And then she starts and taking then, off like her. Yeah. She took off her skirt and started laying down. Mm-hmm. Rubbing, uh, started rubbing like uh, I guess oil on herself yes. or something. He went inside, got an apple, and he just biting it like all sweating. Like, oh, what am I supposed to do here? Then he, then he, she starts. Uh, then she flips over, it like flips takes over her bra, on her stomach takes and, her bra, and she gives him a look like, hey, you want to rub some oil on me? He like starts it's... wigging out and goes inside and gets a bottle of like sparkling water <laughs> yes. or something. Ah, then and then she like she, I think she rolled over. Comes out. Yeah, and then she's pouring water on her. Yeah, she's got the water hose and she's just water pouring water on, all over her body. And that's when he finally, <sighs> finally, finally, <laughs> after two apples, a water bottle, and a <laughs> sharp left, finally took the hint and they move it inside and have great, amazing, passionate. Karma Sutra like oh God. sex for three minutes. With Kenny G sitting in the corner playing yes. music. <laughs> it was so soulful. <laughs> that was, oh my God. Because I was watching it, I made a joke and it was, uh, I was like, oh man, it's not like Kenny G playing. They had the little sexy saxophone jazz music. Like the alto sax. And, and PJ looked at me like, is that Kenny G? He's like, is that? <laughs> I'm like, maybe it is. Maybe he's just sitting in the corner playing with one hand and watching. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is what we needed. We needed Kenny G in the sex scene. So, yeah. And then, after that good, passionate scene that could have been done in, like, five minutes, but, you know, when you're a young male, you know, you kind of tend to take it slow. You know, I can't fault him. I understand. It is vanity, I guess. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. You know, take it slow. Then the, uh... That's when when, uh, the undercover Gene Simmons... Yes. He knocks out the Asian cat, steals a motorcycle with the uh, the disc in it, mm-hmm. and he sends his squad in. They got somebody that looks like Vanity and uh, John Stamos to take their place. So mm-hmm. they kidnap them and take him to his base. And uh, then the dumbass army people don't know because they got somebody parading around with like a dark wig on to look like Vanity, and yeah. so it's like, oh, they're fine. And then on the helicopter, that's when uh, Gene Simmons takes off his little beard and starts laughing. I'm mean, just like, I already <laughs> fucking knew that, bro. <laughs> I yeah. think John Stamos even did too. Yeah, right. And then we make it to their no. Do we? Do they go to the base or do they go to the? They go to the base because that's base when they got first. them all chained up inside the yeah. cages and they trying to rape Vanity. Mm-hmm. And Gene Simmons says no. You know they and stopped then, uh, it. And yeah. I was surprised. Went oh, like I thought that's what you wanted. You said yeah. to entertain yourselves or whatever. Yeah. But he stops and then uh, why does he stop it? He does something. He, he, he like, I think he something. talks some smack first or yeah. something. And then he's like, all right, we'll go back to do whatever the fuck you do. Mm-hmm. But then John Stamos, uh, there's like the Conan guy, like his Gene Simmons, is like number one dude, right hand man. Slash lover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what, yeah, he starts fucking with him because uh, John Stamos is like, oh, I see who wears the pants or who's on top in y'all two relationships. Mm-hmm. He's like, why don't you come be a real man and come fight me? So <laughs> it was actually kind of hard, though. I was like, I can't even diss it too much because what was it? He was like, he was, uh, dude was, Conan was coming down to fight. And then John Stamos like kind of falls backwards and grabs the guy's gun behind him, kicks yeah. that dude, like kick flips up from that dude, then like chops up Conan, and they just start shooting everybody, everybody in the crowd. Everybody in the posse. The whole crew can get it. <laughs> everybody can get it. Yeah. I think eventually like the army cats, yeah, they showed up like, after he started shooting, the helicopter popped up and they started chopping. Mm-hmm. So everybody trying to bang out. Yeah. And Robert England gives uh, Gene Simmons this little suitcase that, with the disc in it to pollute the water. And then so they drive off to go back to the gold knife first level. Yeah. And that's where uh, Gene Simmons and John Stamos had their little, you know, fight scene. Yeah. Final showdown. Uh, it starts with fucking John Stamos eating shit on his motorcycle. He kind of got his ass whooped the majority of that fight say, too, yeah. for real. Yeah, when we get they get to the dam, Gene Simmons. Uh, what doesn't doesn't he run out and tries to activate it and whatnot? He goes to the yeah. He was inside the truck trying to activate it at first, but it's like mm-hmm. oh you're not close enough. So then he had to go by foot, and he said he had activated it before John Stamos got there. I yeah. Think. And John Stamos shows up, fight scene, I guess. <laughs> you know, quick little. Uh, well, John, St- well, John Stamos shows up. He gets knocked off his motorcycle and almost like falls off the damn uh, dam. <laughs> and, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> climbs back up there, and they had a like I said, they start throwing bowls on each other. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, after a while, I forget how I forget exactly how he gets. Oh, he kind of I don't know. It's kind of weird because it's Gene, Gene Simmons is kind of getting him at first, and then John Stamos kind of comes back and starts fucking him up. And Gene Simmons trying to, to start acting like kind of soft, like oh, you know, I'm half woman, you can't hit me or something like that. He still hit him. So he's like, I think John Stamos said something like, "Well, you're half man, half woman. Mm-hmm. I'm all man, so I'm better than you because mm-hmm. I'm I'm a whole whatever." So then, uh, what happened? They started now? fighting, but somehow didn't he pick him up and then lift him over the. Yeah, that that's what yeah. He, yeah, that's what he because when he was talking to him, he was like he had his little his little nail claw and he had like a little case over it and he was slowly mm-hmm. pulling the case off as he was talking. So we ended up shaking him with the knife. Mm-hmm. And when John Stay was like knelt forward in pain, he picked him up and like tried to throw him over the thing, but he caught himself Great, on there, yeah. which is another fucking gold night thing that I thought about. Because at the end of Gold Night, they're at, you know they're on the bottom of the cellar like like satellite. You know, him and 006 are fighting. 006 gets knocked off. And then he jumps onto the helicopter. The thing, yeah. And he kind of got yeah. this. The, the, the shot reminded me of the same yeah. sh- the way they shot him holding, yeah. uh, Pierce Brosnan holding onto the helicopter in GoldenEye. So that's yet another comparison I had in my head. I feel like for that, maybe for that 007, they did. Like, they just saw this movie. Like, you would be great. You already know this <laughs> stuff. Let's just throw in some more. Well, I think that's what they wanted possible. this movie to be with some kind of, like, younger James Bond type movie because at the time Roger yeah. Moore was doing James Bond movies I think in 1986 still Damn. and he was kind of you know he was he was pushing it he kind of like on 60s whatever oh, 60 year old James there. Bond yeah. yeah so maybe this was like oh we gonna get it because there was a couple of different little like fake wannabe James Bond movies coming out oh, and I don't think any of them really did very well that sucks <laughs> you're bad for the legacy no, sometimes those movies just suck oh, all bad but yeah he gets him over the, the thing and he's sitting there you know jamming his you know he jabbed his hand with his nail at one point he basically mm-hmm. trying to knock him off mm-hmm. and uh Vanity what does Vanity do how does she, I forgot she gets him off of there oh no your favorite other fair part he's like uh Gene Simmons is about to finally knock him off and John Stamos was like wait wait and uh, Gene Simmons is like yeah. what he's like I just want to let you know that that you're beautiful yeah and uh Gene Simmons, I guess, liked that because then he le- le- leaned in like he was going to, like, kiss him. Yeah. And I think um, John said was just, like, grabbed him and, like, flung mm-hmm. his ass off the thing. And then another no, great dummy shot. Oh, that's neck. right. That's right. Yeah, he grabbed the Gene Simmons' finger and, like, jammed his own finger in his neck mm-hmm. and then threw him off the banister or whatever. That's the dummy. <laughs> and then you see the, the dummy fall and, like, his head cracked right on the side of the mouth. So Gene Simmons dead as fuck. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So he climbs back up, meets with Vanity, everything's happy. They, Him and the Asian cat, you know, they're, they're like, uh, because they're like, oh, you guys should keep working with us. You guys are good at this. And he's like, nah, man, I didn't got shot at and I'm, I'm good. So they drive off, the music kind of start playing, but then he's like, nah, he turns back around, grabs Vanity up, throws her in the car. Yeah. They drive off, credits roll, the end. The end. So, the plot in this movie was very, very non existent. You this hear about it in the beginning. Movie shit. Yeah, hear about it in the beginning, and then it cycles back towards the end, and then the end happens. Boom. Not much. Oh, we didn't say on. either. Um, I'm, I skipped this part, too. At the end of the movie, um, remember that the, they had the case, and it's like, oh, we don't, we can't stop it. He, She threw the gun down, the flamethrower gun to him. Yeah. They tried to blow up the suitcase with the, the uh, disc in it. Dang, it was a duck. Didn't place. work. Uh-huh. So then it comes back from the beginning of the movie. They throw the case yes. in the air. He flings the gun at it, and if you remember... He said, "If you any kind of damage to it, would make it explode." So that came back for you. Yes. See, I didn't put that together. See it all. It all. That. You gotta that pay was, attention. All of it means yes. something. No, that was no. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Cause that that totally lost. I didn't think about that. Mm-hmm. Ha. Huh. So yeah. Yeah. What you think about this one? Uh, this gets two thumbs up, and on a scale of zero to ten, I would give this a. A solid eight. Mm, okay, I, I didn't think it was actually gonna go that high. Solid, yeah, yeah, because I mean, it was. I enjoyed it. I didn't follow it. Was, it kept me on my toes. It was. And it's one of those ones you see at the video like. store. You would buy. It. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and scoop it. Yes. Yeah. Well, sure. Off the bat, this is already my type of movie. So I pretty much was gonna give it the same score: eight out of ten, thumb up. Thumbs I up. plan on getting me a copy of it on Blu-ray because I saw I saw a Shout Factory actually released it on Blu-ray. Ah, uh, damn. So somebody actually liked this movie enough there to go. HD. You know, restore it. There you go. That's good. Cause I, really, uh, I don't have too many problems with this movie. Yeah, that's was, the, that's the thing about it. It's it's kind of it was hard to take notes on it because, like I said, I was just watching the movie. Yeah. I yeah. actually got it, kind of got into it because in a goofy way. Because believe me, that movie is fucking like it's not great. 
but it's fun. There it's go. great for us because we like these type Action of movies. movies but yeah. like, if you try to show this to like some kind of film snob, like, oh, this movie is yeah. terrible. Yeah. This acting is terrible. No, this movie is great. The acting is great because it's so damn terrible at times. He <laughs> just what? It's great. It's fun. Like sometimes it's you just want to watch the movie where you just can just laugh at it. Yeah, yeah. And this one is one I just fucking laugh at. Good action scenes for it to be, you know, 80, 86? 1986, yeah. 86, man. And I want to say, I swear, I think this is a straight-to-video movie because I, could, I couldn't find anything about, like, how much it cost to make or how much yeah. it made. And even on uh, the Wikipedia page, it just, it just says video cassette cover. And there's no movie poster for yeah, it, so. There it goes. For, for a straight to DV or a straight to uh, VHS movie, I think it's cool with Dude, me. Yeah, I liked it. it. Definitely good. Definitely good. We deserves an eight out of ten. And the bad guy gets two thumbs up, <laughs> and this villain gets a ten. <laughs> you know, because of the past two weeks, it's been very, very terrible. Yeah, he is Indeed. like Gene Simmons made this movie, man. Yeah. It's like one of the funnest parts of this movie to watch because even though it was so weird, it was still fun to watch. It, it was, kept yeah, your attention. Yeah, you couldn't look away. That's the only bad thing. I don't know. I know like one Kiss song. I'm not. I'm, I don't know any. It's a song. Oh, how's it go? It's like a. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day or something. I know that. Yeah. I see. Okay. Want to rock and roll there you all go. night. Do do and party every day. There you go. So you know one. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> Shout out Gene Simmons, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Yeah. We got, we got, we listen to a little other than hip hop. We ain't just hip hop over here. We got other yeah, stuff. Yeah, other. Yeah, let's just, the alternative. We don't know what it is until we know it. <laughs> I know what it is when I hear it. <laughs> there it goes. But yeah, yeah. Well, you gave it two thumbs up, so I guess that'd be three thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Eight, both eight out of ten. Both eight out of ten. So, so far, like, out of three episodes, we finally found a legit movie that we like. Because yes. we both didn't like Equilibrium. Both thought that was trash. Yes. I like Super Mario Brothers. You really didn't. Yeah. But see, now, yeah. finally found one we both like. Yes, yes. And this movie was, uh, my Uncle Michael told me about this movie. Yes, thank you, Uncle Mike. You know, great suggestion. Great suggestion. And he's, uh, a lot of the movies that we are planning on having us watch on this show are all supplied by him or talked to. Like, there's a movie, I don't know, spoil it. Like, this Thanksgiving, there's a, I got a Thanksgiving movie that we can watch. Oh, boy. I don't want to give, I don't want to give out the name of it for people that might not know about it, but I'll just say it's got a killer turkey. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 and yes, yes. And there's a sequel. Yes, <laughs> there's two yes, of them. yes, yes. That's so, a great so we, That's coming this year for damn sure. Gobble, it's gobble. It's like, <laughs> you say that, but the tagline of the movie on the front of the DVD box, it says gobble, gobble, I motherfucker. Know. I know. Oh, so you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Then. Oh, okay. Yes. I didn't know if I told you I've never you seen it. I've always oh, wanted to okay. see it. That was in the, it was the, yeah. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Can I ask if that, what do you call, did he make that movie too? He made those movies too? Who, the same guy that made this? Yeah. Oh, hell the no. Sa- no, no, the same guy that made uh, the previous. I feel like if I say the title, then I might give it away. About oh, he's talking did he make the sequel too? Yeah, did I think he make so. The- oh, shit. Okay. Yep. <sighs> Oh, I got all kind of like yeah. holi- like dumb holiday slasher movies. I got That's some great. for Christmas. I, there's a I got a New Year's one. Oh, New Year's. I got a New Year's oh. one. I got Halloween okay. ones, of course. Yeah, duh. Uh, Sick of <laughs> got Friday the Thirteenth ones. Duh, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I got Happy Birthday, mm. Valentine's Day, the Valentine's Day Massacre. I still have yet to see that. With the same Valentine, the Mafia movie. Yeah. That's not a, oh, I thought I was talking about horror movies. Oh, I didn't, I don't know what that one's about. I just knew it was, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, the, I mean, that's a good movie, too, though. My, my mom has that one. But. I know, I remember always seeing it. I just never Oh, those mafia watched movies. Watched that shit, yeah. I think one of the holidays are covered by horror movies. I think, but I think, like. Everyone. Oh, yeah, because Christmas is, like, super covered. <laughs> Halloween, we got the thing. Halloween, Christmas. Fourth of July? Mmm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. That might be one. I, have to, I need to look into this. Right? It is around the corner. I know, if you right? have any good suggestions yeah, for 4th of got July. It? And not born on the 4th of July either. I don't want to watch that movie. No. <laughs> I want to have fun. I was too serious. <laughs> yeah. Any suggestions? That would be a good one. Hmm. You know where they can send those suggestions to? Where can they send those suggestions? They can send them to mm-hmm. of one of two places or both if you or want to. Or both. Okay. On Twitter, we are at HVH Podcast, and that's a capital H, capital V, capital H, capital P, lowercase lower oddcast. Uh-huh. Or at Facebook at facebook.com slash HVH Podcast. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, um, 
the Twitter kind of been, you know, we've been getting followers on yes, there, man. We got about you. 200 or so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And they're not all like spam bots and porn bots either, although we do got some porn bots on there. <laughs> Y'all know what's up. I happened to be, <laughs> I scrolled down one day and I seen a picture. I was like, oh, uh, where did that come <laughs> I guess you but, can get a follow. But yeah, um, I've been networking a little bit on Twitter. It's kind of cool how this works because, you know, people will send you messages like, oh, hey, uh, we got this podcast. We got this, you know, YouTube show. I'm like, okay, y'all check them out. And hey, you want y'all check this one out too? And we actually been like having people like, it's been cool like that. You know what? If if we make it big, when we make it big. There you go. Everybody who was a part of the first, <laughs> say, we're at how many followers? On uh, Twitter, like 200, a little over 200, I think. The first 500 followers. Oh. Oh. He thinking, y'all. I don't yeah, know what, what he's about something. to say. I don't want to go too far, but you get oh. something. Well, like I said, some of those are some of those are bots too. So exactly. I don't know. that's less that we have to get. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't hear that. Scheming, <laughs> scheming already. <sighs> but yes, thank you everybody for your continual support and watching us grow and helping this HVH podcast become everything that it can become. Oh yeah, and um, I updated the Twitter too a little bit just to put on there, you know, because I had a. Uh, Somebody messaged us on Twitter and they were like, um, "Oh, I didn't know. I did. I thought you guys would be like more like in depth reviews." And I'm just like, "Nah, yeah. we can barely even remember half the shit that happens in the movie after it's over. Too short attention span yeah, having dudes." I feel dudes. like there's, there should be times when you should put uh, put a drop, smoke weed every day. Like times <laughs> when we just forget shit because I feel like that's what I smoke weed every day. All right. <laughs> what are we talking about? But see, you yeah. can't be getting yourself in trouble, though, Slim. Is that in trouble? I don't fucking it's know. It's legal in uh, eight states. <laughs> Hopefully they watch it in those eight states. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I mean, see? Smoke yeah, I'm about weed to say, look, day. see? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, though, thanks for everybody that's out there listening to it, man. Yeah, I seen um, it's way more people listening to it than I honestly thought there'd be. Like, I thought it might be like two or three listeners, but we actually hit double digits. I was yes. like, whoa. And I know some people might be like, oh, double digits, you know, that's nothing. I mean, you know, that's more than I thought we was going to have at this yeah, time, so thank y'all. knock it, okay? Yeah, fuck y'all. <sighs> <laughs> we got some, man, it's like, if it's two people listening to it. There you go. Fuck it. Them two people going to have a show to listen to. Yes. We ain't yes. doing this as no get-rich-quick scheme. Oh. We just love movies and love talking about them, so fuck it. Perfect. It's fun for us. Right. <laughs> right. Get paid for your passion. Exactly. There you go. If it happens one day, it happens. If not, hey, we both got jobs. Right. Well, we say all that just to say thank y'all for listening. So much. Once again, you can find us on Twitter at HVH Podcast, on Facebook at Facebook.com slash HVH Podcast. Mm-hmm. And um, our podcast mainly shoot off of Podbean.com, but this week I had a kind of a problem with it. I got us on iTunes, but then I had to take us <laughs> off iTunes because... Uh, a problem that I made I had to own up to that one But we will be back on iTunes With this new episode So if you're listening Woo. to this And you downloaded it off iTunes Yeah You already know But <laughs> <laughs> But I'm looking into getting you know, Other websites too Because I saw there's a bunch of Other podcast websites too So I'm like I'm a, Everywhere we can get these You soon gonna be able to get them from yes. So hopefully that'll get a listening base up Get yes. more people listening yes. We can get more experience doing this And get better at what we do Take some multivitamins To try and get our memories a little better <laughs> Smoke weed every day. <laughs> and with that, I'm Brent. And I am PJ. And this was the Home Video Hustle. We'll see you next time. Have a good week. Rest of your Friday. Whatever else you got going. Enjoy it. Peace. Peace.